Junkies on 106.7 The Fan. Taking your calls now on the Hadid Carp Clean List Line, 800-636-1067. Redskins drop to 3-8. and eight. Ball to San Francisco in a very winnable game, 17-13. to 13. RG3 throws for just 106 yards. Five starts this year. Now he's only finished four of them. He's got two touchdown passes. Three picks. He's thrown for 869 yards this season. By the way, I'm predict- 869 it's, yards. It's, it's, it's dreadful. <laughs> I'm predicting a full-on fight during the Grant, Danny, Chad Dukes Between who conglomeration. And who? No, 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 I'm not saying specific parties, but just because the heat. Everybody's upset. The heat in here. It's a deadly cocktail. <laughs> right. There will be some sort of skirmish at some point today between 10 and 6 p.m. So keep listening for that. It is, will happen. Is right. there any way that they would go back to Kirk or any way that they would make RG3 okay. inactive? You know how when Kirk was the starter, yeah. they just and said, you know what, boom, number three. too many picks yeah. were going to Colt. Well, and they bumped in the number three. Is there any way that they just say, I mean, we had Charlie Castley on Shut here down. last week speculate, third best quarterback on the team. A lot of people are saying that now. Is there any way that Jay just says, all right, trotted him out there before the bye, yeah. probably a mistake. Lost to Minnesota and Teddy Bridgewater. Had the bye week to get ready for Tampa Bay, the worst defense in the league or second worst defense in the league. Could score any points there. Lost to Josh Lost McCown. again. W- All right, now we hold San Francisco to 17 points in San Francisco. We get 13. That's three full starts. Seen enough. On to the next. I wouldn't be shocked. him to number three. Why would, I, why would I be shocked if he deactivated RG3? You think he wants to turn to him if one of the other guys would, in front of him struggles? I would have no qualms. Here's the two points. And somebody just brings this up. If you had to choose, it's a great question. Between what has the, I'm stealing this from a guy that just tweeted me, Diego. If you had to choose what had a better shot, okay? RG3 learning to read defenses and throw downfield or coaching Kirk up to avoid the interceptions? What do you think has a better chance to be successful? The Kirk. latter. I think the latter. Kirk. Coaching the interceptions out of Kirk. Now, I don't have that much faith in that, by the way. Because, but it has a better shot. Because we've seen that before. Now, he's younger, but we've seen that before with Rex Grossman. But Rex Grossman but the, could, would have similar numbers to Kirk Cousins at times. or would have 300-yard games and be very impressive, but he never could get but rid of that But you also saw turnover. guys like Peyton Manning, like Eli Manning, like others, who had a tr- similar trajectory right. early in their career and then somehow figured out how to minimize a lot of those turnovers. It's possible. My thing with I Kirk, think it's a good point. My thing with Kirk is, at least at the end, when they pulled the plug on Kirk, and if you think about <laughs> that four interception game, he was similar to how you're describing RG3. He looked like a shot fighter. I don't think. Like, he looked like he had no confidence. Yeah, That's why they thing. bumped him to exactly. number three. I just, exactly. I just think. Look, good guys, everyone's back. <laughs> you can't be coached up to have pocket presence right. and to realize when the rush is bearing down <laughs> on you. I think that's just something you you have. It's innate. Well, you learn it at a young age. I mean, I, I well, think you, he would already have it by I think now. It was yeah, Mark he doesn't have it by now. Who described processing information quickly? Somebody pointed that out earlier in the show. Mm-hmm. And I know when they talked about Tim Tebow when he was the quarterback, it wasn't that he wasn't intelligent. Maybe a smart guy in the classroom. Who knows? It was that on the football field, when you have to go from progression one to two to three and find your guys, or you determine a guy's open. On a downfield pass, 40 yards downfield, it's like a half Where's yard. Where's Jonathan Once, Neednoggle when you need him? The brain type. <laughs> that's your guy. Once, that's what we need, Jonathan you know, Neednoggle. He you, said Google Brian him. Leaf doesn't process information correctly. Right. But once you see in the, the league. Brain type was the, wrong the, brain the, type. The, the quarterbacks <laughs> who throw these deep passes regularly downfield and are successful, a guy would be open for like a half yard, 10 yards into the route. And they start their throw to throw it 40 yards right. downfield. And not only that, sometimes they just put the ball up and hope their receiver goes up and makes a play. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes that's a ball that you have to throw and you have to hope Des Bryant or whoever's downfield right. goes up, climbs the ladder, beats the defender, and makes a play on the ball. You can't do that if you're standing in the pocket for six seconds and getting swallowed up by the pass I'll rush. I'll freely admit I listened to the game on the radio because I went to the Philadelphia Eagles game with my kids and with Jess yesterday. So I was in Philly driving back, put it up on the app. And the play which jumped out at me is they're in a situation to score a touchdown. It's, I think it's third and goal, or it might've been like a third and seven and they could have gotten a first down, but he throws a two yard route to Halu, a two yard pass to Halu. That's a give up play. When the people who were calling it, Doc Walker is saying Pierre Garcon is wide open. He might actually actually use by, but let your playmakers make a play. 
Take a shot at it. I am so sick and tired, too, of people saying this on Twitter. I'm going to have to turn the social media off. You know what? Look at this. This is unprecedented. Done. done. I'm done. I, I, can't oh take, I can't take it anymore. It's too Good much. For you. People saying the junkies aren't talking about the offensive line. Are you effing kidding? It's a given the offensive line blows. We all know that. All right. If we were in court, we would stipulate. Bad we stipulated line. that. But look at the numbers over the course of the year. We talked about it last week. Uh, Kirk and, and Colt, and they're just two donks. Their rate of being sacked is half of what Robert is. And they played half the amount of sacks. I mean, it's unbelievable. Oh, yeah, let me give you the numbers. It's not even close. Let me give you the numbers. Just Kirk. So RG3 has thrown the ball 119 times. Hey, just write this down. 119, 20 sacks. Kirk had... 204 attempts and was sacked eight times. Right. He, he I mean, it the, gets the ball out. Now he's going to throw it to the other team a bunch. Oh, and by the that's way, something you have to deal with. The thing that's even crazier about the whole thing is Robert doesn't even throw downfield and he gets sacked all the time. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't even make intuitive sense. Kirk is throwing downfield and getting sacked at half the rate. It Same thing with Colts. Robert only throws sideways and gets sacked every other play. He it be, makes no sense. It makes zero sense. For, other than he sucks. <laughs> he sucks, people. That's the best part of See, it. Remember I said best. I thought there was going to be a fight best. later. Now it's boiling over. That's because the, of the only heat. conclusion a, 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 it's not a the reasonable heat. person can come up with. Cakes. He sucks. <laughs> it's not the heat, Cakes. It's well, accurate. It's... it's it's a bunch of factors. It's, accurate. Yeah. it's frustration. I'm it a Redskins fan. I'm a Redskins right. fan. It's not illogical frustration. It's <laughs> the logical. The evidence is there. <laughs> Do the math, morons. <laughs> Do the math. Here it is. It makes zero sense. I'll the guy give it that's to you thrown again. sideways gets sacked 100 times more than everybody else. <laughs> I'll give it to you again. 119 passes, 20 sacks. You guys suck. Kirk Cousins, 204 passes, 8 sacks. It's not even close. It's not. I mean, it's a, it is the same line. I understand Moses played yesterday, <laughs> and, and he sucks out, worse. Whatever. I understand that's one off. Whatever. <laughs> Trent will be back there. Same thing will happen. He's scared to throw it downfield. He's a tough guy physically. He's a mentally. He's shot. Mentally, he's shot. He's scared to get hit. Oh. Everybody knows that. <laughs> he's scared to throw a pick. Everybody knows it. <laughs> Everybody knows this it. is the meltdown we've all been waiting for. I look at the, I've never done this before. Done the social media during the show. Done. Good for you. It's too many <laughs> you idiots. 29 minutes. Some guy was asking, like, giving me a hard time about what, you, what sport I played. Like, that matters. <laughs> doesn't. By the way, golf and tennis. Are silly. you serious? <laughs> yeah, by the yeah, way, that matters yeah. not golf, at all. Golf and tennis, actually. <laughs> hey, I played tennis. What are you going to do? <laughs> I'm serving volley your ass off. EB, we were, no, we were in the top 10 at Maryland for flag football teams. Oh, please. Get that out of here. <laughs> you got flag football. Eric, Eric, do you want to hear yourself after uh, the Redskins beat the, the Cowboys? Cowboys on Thanksgiving? Oh, oh yes. We no, have to hear. Right. No, please. We have <laughs> to hear this. Is this from 2012? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. From yeah, so, so, wait, so <laughs> let me just preface it by this. I'm glad that you're doing this because it proves to people that it's not personal. Right. That I was behind him. You wanted him to succeed. I said he was going to be like Gandhi. You were desperate for him to succeed. He went from being Gandhi to a dancer. <laughs> How is that possible? I think you played that clip of that throw from RG3 to Aldrich Robinson. How great was that throw? No, it was amazing. RG3 just threw, he threw it as far as he could and let Robinson just run underneath it. Yeah. And again, we right said yeah. coming into the draft, at the time of the draft, etc., that this kid throws the deep ball well. I wish JP was in here so we can nitpick about all the side-to-side -side <laughs> passing and everything. Right. But I think as we stand right here, you know, we talked about it. They've got 10 plays of 30 yards or more as a team. I think that leads the NFL scoring plays. Definitely does. I believe RG3 has nine, is it nine touchdown passes of 25 yards or more, which also leads the NFL. Yak, 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 by the way, on all of those. And I wasn't there to nitpick because I was prophetic. He throws, he throws side to side more than anybody. I, I, he's number one in completion percentage, EB, for guys who have oh, more than passes. Don't bring out no. that feather in the cap. Number one in completion percentage. I'm he's pointing it out to mock him. I'm pointing it out because a lot of people lauded his accuracy his rookie season. 
and they would point to different numbers, which were really false numbers, because it's easy to have a great completion percentage if you're throwing to Roy Hallou over and over again. And in that rookie year, because of the read option, and he was unbelievable with his legs, guys were wide open. E.B. mentioned this earlier in the show. There were a couple of analysts, not the junkies, NFL analysts with NFL experience who looked at the film and said last week, not this week, but last week, RG3 didn't make one throw that was an NFL caliber throw. Yeah. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, it speaks for itself. I don't know what Jay's waiting for. I mean, it's ridiculous. Go, go, do me a favor, Drab. <laughs> Yes. Look up quarterback busts, okay? <laughs> okay. And I want you to give me the number of starts before they were bailed on. All right? Not all of them. Some have started more, certainly. But are there going to be some prominent names that got fewer starts? Like people are saying we need to see more. What? <laughs> no, no. What do you need to see? No, look, look. Buffalo didn't see, need to see more of EJ Manuel. Exactly. And I believe he's got 14 games he's played in. I mean, I don't want to write the kid off. Maybe he'll come back in three or four years. But nothing's <laughs> happening anytime soon. Not here. Not in D.C. Nothing's happening anytime soon. The one example I could give is Tommy Maddox. <laughs> he was out of football. I think he was on a farm. I don't know what happened. He, maybe, five years later, he came back out of nowhere, maybe, and he made like a Pro Bowl. Maybe, or he played at that level. Maybe you could go to Rich Gannon, who like shined a little bit later in his career. Rich Gannon? Wasn't yeah, but he, he was, Hold on. But didn't he win MVP one year? I know, but no, my he's point trying, is he's trying to give you a reclamation his, project. Earlier mm. in his career, he wasn't really anybody. He was a journeyman, journeyman. And then all of a sudden became silly. Yeah, yeah, but we're talking that's about, different. He, he wasn't the number two overall pick in right. the draft. I'm talking Agreed. about guys that were drafted high, busted out, and no, then some no, miracle, no, they re, they no. found glory. No, we suck, I think we it happened. Suck, I, can, suck, I, can name, I think it happened once. I can Tommy name some Maddox. guys. Yeah. Look, I can name some guys off the top of my head. They're, they're, you're they're looking for miracles. They're looking for They're on Fox all the time. Brady Quinn and Matt Liner. Now, they weren't drafted Look as how high, many, but was but he Brady still a first-round pick? Brady Quinn and Matt Liner. Was it Quinn a first-round yes. pick or did he slide to the second? He was a first-rounder. Quinn and Liner were both guys who were very successful in college, who a lot of people thought were going to be franchise quarterbacks. I can't do it. I got to turn out. on the computer. I got to see what's going on. You can, only, you can only stay Jeez, away for six on. minutes. <laughs> I mean, I, I, just, well, I, just, I just need to see what's How about going just go to the phones? All right. Because I did challenge people. Come up with your best thought and worst thought on what you saw yesterday. Brady I, Quinn, by the I way, think, played in 24 games in his NFL career. 24. They saw enough. It's on TV now. He, tried, he was on a couple teams. Other teams a couple. tried. He was on the Browns. <laughs> I know. The Broncos, the Chiefs, the Jets, and the Rams. Right. They all gave him a shot. All right. Let's go to Marquis. Marquis, what's up? Hey, what's going on, man? Hey. What's up, buddy? Listen every day. Hey, yeah, yeah. I was sitting here cracking up, man. Listening to y'all guys, man. But look, this is this is what I feel like we are in D.C., man. Especially when it comes to football and the quarterback position, we're like a microwave, man. It got to be right now, right now. But if you look at some of the top teams, their quarterbacks, Peyton Man included, struggled. He was an interception machine when he in his first couple of years. But they and this is RG three. He's in his third year. And we were ready to kick him to the curve after he came through injuries, gave everything that he had his first rookie year, and now we're ready to throw him to the curve. I think it's slightly unfair, and I think that's why we suffer in football because we're so quick. Look, when's the last time we had a quarterback that started for five years? Well, Jason, Jason Cam, Jason, I, I, five years, it, it's been forever. But Jason Maybe Campbell had a run. Campbell, Campbell and can I just point it. this out that in year two, I love when people love to say, oh, well, Peyton Manning, Troy Aikman. Year one, Peyton Manning had 28 interceptions, but he also had 26 touchdowns. In year two, he completely turned it around and had 26 touchdowns with 15 picks. So don't make up information and take a look at their stats. <laughs> this is the third year. How many starts do you want this guy to give you? You've guy, seen enough. Some guy's asking me if I would trade RG3 for a fourth rounder. I'd trade him for a pizza <laughs> <laughs> that I could eat. Hey, Pierre Garçon would make you a pizza. There's no joy to trade him for RG3 lock. Yeah. He makes right, it let's 90 come back. seconds. Can we do a speed round when we come back. Just speed sure. round. 800 636 1067. Taking your calls on the Redskins RG3. Your best thoughts, your worst thoughts, your takeaway from yesterday's latest loss for the Washington Redskins. Sports Radio 1067. The Fan.